Fred Hart, Master Faculty Instructor with Keller Williams Realty, and I want to let you know a little trick that you have to do now with your market leader websites to show them properly on Facebook. Here's what I'm talking about. In the past, we've been able to come over here, go to the buy page, run a search, take that search result, then drop it in on our Facebook business page as our status update, and everything would be great. A photograph would be auto-loaded onto that post when you would post the link. However, now that photograph is not auto-loading. So a lot of times you just end up with a link that's just pure text, which is not going to be uh, suitable. You know, you want it to be visual. You want it to stand out. So here's the little trick that you would have to do. You come over. You run a search like you always do. I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to do McKinney, Texas. We're going to do a search. So here's the results that come up. Now, one little thing that I teach in another video, and I teach this in my classes, is let's come over here and let's switch it to map. So we could market the map page if we wanted to. Let's switch it back to list. And by doing so, you've added in the latitude, longitude in that link right up there. So we're going to copy that full link. Now, one other thing I teach as well is before you go in and post this on Facebook, if you want to, you can come over here and you can add in question mark T S equals FB, which is a tracking code. It's going to tell you that whenever you get a lead off of this link, that the source came from Facebook. So we're going to copy this full link. We come over here to Facebook when it says, and I'm on my business page, it says, what, you, what have you been up to? I paste that in. Give it a couple seconds. And that's what we get. Normally in the past, we would get a photograph that would show up. So everybody's out of luck. You get what you get. And that's it. However, here's what you do. We're going to come over here. I'm going to just leave this page, then come right back to it, paste it in, and now the second time around, it gives me a photo option. Now that is giving me a Keller Williams logo photo. It's not necessarily the one that I want to use, but now I can come over here and I can hit upload image, and I have the ability to go in and I have the ability to change to whatever photograph that I want to put in there. So if it's a photograph of McKinney, downtown McKinney, or anything else that I want to put in, I can put that in there. Also, once you post, a lot of people say, well, I don't like this whole information right here. I want to get rid of this. You can. You can get rid of that. And then when you actually go out and post it, the link itself will reside in the text that's down here as well. So you can type in whatever you want to type right here. Type text here. Also, some people say, well, maybe it's not just McKinney Homes, it's McKinney Luxury Homes that I've ran the search for. So I come over here and I would adjust my search, pull that link. I don't want to change this verbiage. Anything in yellow, you can change. So I could change this verbiage right here. I could also come down and change this verbiage right here. So that's the little tip that you have to do to get those photos to show, which getting those photos to show is, is a pretty powerful marketing option. So you definitely want to use that. You do, all you got to do is just run the search, take the link, put it out on Facebook, photograph doesn't show, back out of that page, come back into that page, paste it again, and you should get a photo option. More tips and tricks can be located on my YouTube channel, and you can also find out more information about the training and the social media website design services that my team provides as well, and that can be found on michaeltrithart.com. Thanks, and have a great day.